Hello everybody, this is TT Lemon, and as you can probably guess, today I'm going to be showing you a self-powered piston monorail thing. So I'm going to place, that's a normal piston, sticky piston, half slab. Just place that redstone block here. It's not going to go on very fast, the design is very compact, because the other ones you've seen. That's all it is. On the wiring, it just goes long. Redstone block on the train pushes this out, which can just power them right onto this. Very simple design, you can see it working. It pushes them out, and that's what gives it the pulse cut moving. It's pretty fast, so it's fair. And yeah, if you want to, you can sit on it. Have a ride if you wanted to. It's only one direction, I'm only going facing that direction. But I'm sure that doesn't really matter to anyone because it's a pretty useless machine, really. Um, you can make a little launcher for it if you just do that and button it. Then you can just pre build your trains, do that, press the button. If, oh, yeah, if I just build this here, you can see. Right, that's I'm gonna place that block there. This is going to let's just move that. So it doesn't move very far. Right, that's when this this next extends. It's gonna pulse onto here. So first of all, it's going to make this piston this normal piston, one of these, just push the train along a bit. And then this piston that's been pushed into this position will be powered, so if you just watch. Yeah, that's basically what happens. So there. this gets pushed out and then pulled back to be sitting like that position by these two repeaters and then this repeat on the free tick so then make this one push out again then this one and these two here are just going to make this pull it back and that moves it along two blocks take a look it moves itself along two blocks So yeah, and then that's just repeated a bit further along on this side, so it moves on another two blocks. Then this bit here will move on another two blocks, this bit here another two blocks, and the cycle continues. And I managed to make it quite compact by just having very simple timings, not having any wires going about anywhere, just this very simple system, I think. But yeah, you can run them pretty close around each other. Quickly just pop over on here. You can send them off very close and they work on the same thing, completely independently of each other as long as there's as long as there's eight blocks in between them. It's perfectly fine to have them running along. And the thing I think is pretty cool about these if I get myself some some rail and cart. I can replace that half slab that I had there with your cart. Get in, press the button. You can have a very, very long cart. That just pushes the track along and you can stay in there and be on your merry way off to the sunset. It I haven't tried what happens when they move into unloaded chunks, but I'm just going to assume it, they would just stop. The design is pretty fast, I think it moves about. Moves along the top of each two or three ticks of the Well, it's been different places. Sorry about that, the moving, the moving rail in the minecart seemed to crash my client for some reason. I'll have to post that onto the bug reporter thing, whatever it is. Anyway, I'm just going to show a tutorial of it now. It was quickly departed that, so 
this is going to be the rail it runs along and it's in little modules of four on each side so to start off with I'm going to platform four along like that and on the last two I'm going to do that and this pattern is going to be repeated all the way along the rail so you're just going to put a little line of redstone one, tick the delay on that three, two, three, two pretty simple pattern really and then you can just repeat that again one, two, three, four a little zigzag of redstone and then those delays yeah and on the other side you can't put it in the same position as you need to offset it by two because each of these little modules when it receives a pulse will move the cut along two as I've already said so next one needs to be two along so where this two tick repeater is here you need to start your next one so four along and then where that is there you want your one tick three two three two and your line of redstone and then same again and then I'll show you a bit of how the pulse system works right so the trains are here like this so that pushes it along that pulls that back you need a space there so that doesn't happen just a little space that can be any block that there and so we get the power from this block here I'll put a sticky piston on it I'll just move that for a moment with a redstone block on it so when that's pushed out it's going to be that well that's going to get pushed out which is going to push this piece of out which is then going to depower it giving you a short pulse and it moves it two blocks along so pretty simple really so you just need to plop that on top of the repeater on three ticks the longer one so that block doesn't power any redstone below you can't have it like there because that happens of course like that and like that so yeah a pretty simple little monorail road for you so yes Thank you for watching and this has been TT Lemon.